Today I'm going to tie up one of my favorite hopper pads. Uh, you don't need a strip of foam. I like to use a size 8 streamer hook for this. First thing we do is we're going to pierce the foam here with the hook in the middle. Attach. Lay down just a little thread. You need a little piece of scrap foam. So you can bind the foam. From the foam, we're going to glue this down. And as you note, I'm coming back about uh, eye length. I'm going to position the foam like so. Poke a little hole through here. Next thing, I'm going to take some Zappa Gap with the brush. It's easier to apply. Apply a light amount on the foam and underneath. Apply a little at the back here as well. And next thing we're going to do is stretch this foam out just a little. Pinch and pull the foam up. And take a razor. And I like to pull. And just slice straight back. Like we start to build our segmentation. So I take two wraps by the tail here. As you come up, I'm going to cross. And you want to make sure you, you watch carefully for your segmentation. Okay, so now next I'm going to square up the head and this is where I like to add a little color many people don't add any color to this but I put a little line down the middle and to create some segmentation add a little black to the middle and you'll see why I'm going to use a copper blending marker here in a second I'm putting those marks in it to create some segmentation then I'm going to take a dark brown marker and I'm going to add darkness around the edges. You'll see why I'm doing this in a minute. That Copic blending marker will pull the darker off. And give us a nice little um, fade, if you will. So I'm just essentially going around the edges. Don't really need to do this too much on the top. Let me show you what I have now. As you can see, I I've just placed around the edges of the dark marker and I have a little black through the middle there. Now I take the Copic blending marker. You can get these at most Hobby Lobbies. You can see it's quite clear. And then the trick is to use a piece of paper to take the color off of your marker as you blend. So I'll start, I'll start with the bottom first. Take a little bit of that off by rubbing it on my paper. As 
So, as you can see, how it has the nice dark segmentations in the middle. Uh, we're able to take off some of that darker brown. And now what I do is I just add eyes and I use a small tip sharpie for that. Now we're ready to really build out the rest of the fly here, which is really simple. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some legs here. This time I'm going to add kind of a um, pearl barred leg. Seems to work, or at least I think it seems to work. So we'll take one wrap. And I like to try to conserve my wrap, so I'll come behind the thread. And I'll pull this leg up. And I'll finish my wrap by going over it one more time. Take a look at the position of the legs, make sure I like that. And then I will continue to wrap back. And I'll pull, notice how I pull the legs back. This allows me to go ahead and complete my wrap process. And then once I do that, I don't like to stretch the legs, but you just kind of extend them back. The reason you don't want to stretch it, because if you stretch it, you'll have really short legs. So let it hang over the rear and just clip them to the to length. And you want your front legs to be about half the length or a little bit longer than half. And you can adjust them as needed. And once you do that, I tie in a piece of uh, web wing, which is, I've already cut that wing. And I like that to be, to extend a little past the rear of the body. I'll cut the web wing. Next, I'll place my elk hair. It's better. I like my elk hair to be about the length of the body before I set it in, I like to have it just extend past my tie-in point, so, like so. Now I'm ready to, to tie in. Normally I whip finish by hand, but I'm going to use a whip finishing tool today. Clean up uh, any excess stuff that I don't like, or and there you have it. Nice little Charlie Boy hopper, A little coloration, great hopper pattern, easy to tie, catches a lot of fish, works well as a hopper dropper. So I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe.